Hey guys, it's Andy here. I'm Herky's dad and Milton's dad. So today is our last day in LA. We've been called back by the Canadian government. So all Canadian residents have to go home to be safe. So yeah, we're just giving the girls a last walk. We're gonna get their energy out before they get onto the plane tonight. We have a flight at 7 a.m. So I think we have to get to the airport around 3, 4 a.m. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long day. Fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly at the airport. I don't want to leave here. It's beautiful. It's sunny, but the government calls. Girls, are you ready to leave LA or do you want to go to Montreal? Hi, Milton. Hi. I don't know. Ah. Milton, guys. Brand new pants that are white, and she just put her paws on me. Milton just wants to go wherever her mom is. She doesn't care where we're going. So yeah, usually we vlog at the airport for 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 obvious reasons though today. We're not gonna be touching our phones. It is a crazy times right now. And I'm super paranoid as you can see from the coyote video. So at the airport, I'm gonna have plastic gloves on and a mask and I'm making my wear the same thing. We're gonna be covered and we're not gonna be touching our phone. That's like the challenge. We're putting it away in our fanny packs and we're gonna take extra safety precautions at the airport. Hopefully there's not too many people at the airport because uh, the Canadian government and the US government ban all sorts of uh, leisure travels. So it's only residents that are allowed to go back home. So Canadian residents going back to Canada or American residents. We have a pooper going back to the United States. Hopefully it's gonna be a calm airport. These beautiful leashes from our spring collection. Aren't they vibrant? So a funny anecdote about these poo bags. We were doing a pop-up and then one of our friend goes, Hey, how come how come Herky doesn't have a poo bag? Only Milton has one. So now when we get back, they're gonna both have their own poo bags. So Milton is making sure that we don't leave her behind. We have to exit California now because all the insurance companies in Canada are thieves and they decided to stop the medical coverage for everybody in like a week. And you cannot be in the States with no coverage. So we're packing up and uh, Milton decided that this is how she's gonna be traveling. <laughs> is she cute? You're staying here, baby? You're staying in the luggage? How's packing going? It's going pretty well. Good. I'm very angry at insurance companies right now. You guys are freaking thieves. It's not looking good in here. We have so much stuff. No, I'm exaggerating. Everything's going well. We're good, people. We're good. I brought a lot of clothes. She's still there. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so cute. Meanwhile, guys, her kid don't give up about anything. She's just chilling by her own. She doesn't care. She's we always go, by herself. Don't go. She doesn't care. She's so independent. It's crazy. Okay, so we are slowly getting ready to pack. And don't mind this, this is some eggshell that I cooked this morning that Herky and Milton stole from me and they just made a mess. Um, here is Herky and Milton's luggage. This is my luggage. That's gonna be the shoes and toiletry luggage. Those are our carry-ons. A lot of stuff, huh, girls? Milton was very upset, as you can see the other day, because her toy was in here, so I can't put it away until the last minute. If I put it in here, she's gonna try to take it out. So basically our original plan, our original travel plans to go back to Canada was to go back on April 22nd. That was the, the original plan. And when this COVID-19 situation started getting worse and worse, we decided to book a flight home. And it was super easy for us to book a flight home and we were scheduled to come back on March 26th. A few nights ago, I, I don't know, for some reason, I just checked our flight status for fun online and I noticed that the flight was canceled. And what's really frustrating is that they didn't even send us an email notification or anything. And I understand that right now it's a very exceptional situation. And I know that they have a lot on their hands and they're doing as they can, but we didn't even get an email notification. So 
The next morning, we immediately called our airline to try to rebook. And instead of doing a, um, a non-stop flight from LA to Montreal, we are stopping in Toronto, which I'm not thrilled about because traveling with dogs is hard and having one layover makes it more difficult. And added to that entire thing, it just, it just increases our risk of getting something. because you're exposed to another airport and another airplane. We'll just try to be as careful as possible. We do have masks, we do have gloves, so we'll just do our very best. You want a treat? You want a treat? Oh, what do we have here? Sojo's Simply Beef. This is only, oh, oops, oh no. There goes the buffet. Whoops, sorry girls. Oh my gosh, they went ham on that. So this, Look at this ingredient. It's just straight up beef, which I love. And they just had a lot of it. Girls are wild. Milton, what are you doing? I'm trying to pack. I'm trying to pack. What are you doing? Here. You want this one still? Okay, okay. I know it's yours. I know, honey. Okay, everything is starting to look very empty. All our stuff is packed. Milton, <laughs> you're still in there? Everything's getting packed up. You're so curious, Milton. Mai is a fine specimen right now. So guys, we just landed in Toronto. Uh, I can't tell where the camera hole is for my phone. It was a quite easy flight. Everybody is super nice, the flight was empty. And we're gonna get ready to get out of the plane because everybody's gonna get out now, so I'd rather not wait in line. Perky, hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hi Milton, where are you going? We going home? We're in Toronto. That was a smooth flight, huh? We made it. So, if you guys are curious, at the airport at LAX, they asked a few questions before we boarded. Basically, they just asked, do you have a fever? Do you have a cough? Have you been outside of the United States? And apparently now they're going to ask the same questions, but I wonder if they're going to take our temperature. Okay. Oh yeah, and I need to remind people of the prison sentence that Quebec has imposed. It's Canada, no? No, it's Quebec. Canada have a new law in place now. If you, When you come back, if you don't quarantine for 14 days, you are eligible for a fine of 750,000 Canadian dollars or I think five months of prison. And those are the treats you got from Shannon? Those are the treats we got from Shannon. Some Californian treats for Herky and Milton. A little snack time. They love these. The girl, her gear is so sweet. Look at that face. You know what that face is? Chimkin face. Oh my god, the lighting's so pretty. Hi, pretty. Okay, so I can't finish this because it's really gross, but. The chicken is just falling out of the batter, so I'm gonna give them some. 
Easy. Oh my god, Chimkin. <laughs> Bro, I was gone before I even got time to focus. You wild missing. Shouldn't there in front of the water bowl? Because we forgot the water bowl and the luggage. Oh, you don't have it? Nope. Oh. So, I broke up the thing like this, and now I'm gonna put water in here. Can I have the water bowl? Wait, Milton, wait, honey. It's coming. Well, oh, Herky's licking her lips already. So, we're about like an hour and something minutes flight from home. Therefore, to get a bit of water. Wow, they were thirsty. They do not want to drink from my hand. This is crazy how much pollution we make for one meal, man. Uh huh. I just want to go home. <laughs> Good girl, Milton. Good girl. Ricky, look. You guys remember? Do you remember? Welcome home, her key. Welcome home! Milton, welcome home! Is that so much food? Look at what Auntie Kim left for us. Everything's here. Food for the girls, everything. Thank you! Yay! I'll be right back, okay girls? Mm -hmm.